back to Midnight Requiem. Today, our guest of honor is... Sonny Bono, who is an American singer, songwriter, actor, and politician. In partnership with his second wife, Cher, he formed the singing duo Sonny and Cher. A member of the Republican Party, Bono served as the 16th mayor of Palm Springs, California from 1988 to 1992 and served as a U.S. representative for California's 44th district from 1995 until his death in 1998. He was born in Detroit, the son of Zena Jean and Santo Bono. His father was born in Palermo, Italy, and his mother was also an Italian descent. His mother called him Sono as a term for endearment, which evolved over time into Sonny. Sonny was the youngest of three siblings. He had two sisters, Fran and Betty. The family moved to Inglewood, California when he was seven, and his parents divorced soon afterwards. Sonny decided early in life to become part of the music business and began writing songs as a teenager. Coco Joe, a song he wrote at age 16, was recorded by Don and Dewey in 1958 and later covered by several other artists, including the Righteous Brothers. He attended Inglewood High School but did not graduate, opting to drop out so he could begin to pursue a career as a songwriter and performer. He worked at a variety of jobs while trying to break into the music business, including waiter, truck driver, construction laborer, and butcher's helper. He began his music career as a songwriter at Specialty Records, where he sang Things You Do To Me, was recorded by Sam Cooke, and went on to work for record producers Phil Spector in the early 1960s. As a promotion man, percussionist, and gopher, one of his earliest songwriting efforts, Needles and Pins, was co-written with Jack Nischit, another member of Spectre's production team. In 1965, he achieved commercial success with his wife Cher in the singing duo Sonny and Cher. He wrote, arranged, and produced a number of hit records, including the singles I Got You Babe and The Beat Goes On. Although Cher received more attention as a performer, he played a major part in Cher's early solo recording career, writing and producing singles, including Bang Bang and You Better Sit Down Kids. Under Pseudium, Bono co-wrote She Said Yeah, covered by the Rolling Stones on their 1965 LP Out of Our Heads. His lone hit single as a solo artist, Laugh At Me, was released in 1965 and peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. In live concerts, Sonny introduced the song by saying, I'd like to sing a melody of my hit. His only other single as a solo artist, The Revolution Kind, which reached the 70 on the Billboard Hot 100 later that year. His solo album, Interviews, was released in 1967. He continued to work with Cher through the early and mid-1970s, starring in a popular television variety show, The Sonny and Cher Comedy Hour, which ran on CBS from 1971 to 1974. In 1974, he solo variety shows, The Sunny Comedy Review, ran on ABC for one season from 1976 to 1977. The duo since divorced returned to perform together on The Sunny and Cher Show. Their last appearance together was on Late Night with David Letterman on November 13, 1987, on which they sang, I Got You Babe. Sonny's acting career included bit parts as a guest performer in such television series as The Man from UNCLE, appearing with Cher in The Hot Number Affair, Fantasy Island, Charlie's Angel, The Love Boat, The Six Million Dollar Man, and Chips. In the 1975 TV movie Murder on Flight 502, he played the role of a rock star Jack Marshall. He appeared in the 1980 miniseries Top of the Hill. 
He played the role of Mad Bomber Joe Sulisi in Airplane 2, the sequel, 1982, and appeared in a horror film, Tro, 1986. He also portrayed racist entrepreneur Franklin Von Tussle in the John Waters film, Hairspray, 1988. He also appeared as the mayor of Palm Springs, which he actually was at that time, in several episodes of P.S. I Love You during 1991 to 1992 TV season, and on Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman in Season 1, Episode 9, The Men of Steel Bars, which aired November 21st, 1993, in which he played Mayor Frank Brokovitz. He also made a minor appearance as himself in the comedy film First Kid, 1996. A portrait of Sonny also appeared in the Veggie Tales episode Dave and the Giant Pickle in the Silly Songs with Larry segment I Love My Lips original version. He guest starred himself on the Golden Girls episode Mrs. George Duritsky originally broadcast November 17, 1990 in which he viewed in Lyle Wagner for Dorothy's Beau Arthur affection in a dream sequence in Blake's dream, her husband is still alive and Sonny used his power as mayor to a Palm Springs to have Wagner falsely arrested so he can have Dorothy to himself. Sophia had been hoping for Sonny and Dorothy to get together and actively supported Sonny. Sonny entered politics after experiencing frustration with local government bureaucracy. While trying to open a restaurant in Palm Springs, California, he made a successful bid for mayor and served from 1988 to 1992 as mayor. He spearheaded the creation of the Palm Springs International Film Festival, which is held each year in his memory. He ran for the Republican nomination for United States Senate in 1992, but lost to the more conservative Bruce Hutchison who lost the general election to Democrat Barbara Boxer. Bono and Hersherson became close friends after the campaign in 1994. He planned to run for lieutenant governor, but decided to run for Congress when Republican Al McCandles announced his retirement. He won the Republican nomination and the general election to represent California's 44th congressional district. He was re-elected in 1996 and served from January 1995 until his death. In the House, he was one of 12 co-sponsors of House Bill Extending Copyright. Although that bill was never voted on in the Senate, a similar Senate bill was passed after his death and named the Sonny Bono Copyright Term Extension Act. In his memory, it is also known as the Mickey Mouse Protection Act. He championed the restoration of the Sultan Sea, bringing the giant lake's plight to national attention in 1998. Then Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, made a public appearance and speech at the shore of the lake of Bono's behalf. Sonny passed away on January 5th, 1998 of injuries incurred when he hit a tree while skiing at Heavenly Mountain Resort in South Lake Tahoe, California. At Mary's request, Cher gave a eulogy and Sonny's funeral. He was buried at Desert Memorial Park in the Cathedral City, California. The epitaph on Sonny's headstone reads, and the beat goes on, Mary Bono was elected to fill the remainder of her husband's congressional term. She was elected in her own right seven subsequent times before being defeated in the 2012 election. Babe, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. Leave a white heart in the comments in remembrance of them. And as always, be loving and caring, my good beings.